AKPA Bedtime Story Time AKPA Bedtime Story Time Hi boys and girls and welcome to another amazing episode of AKPA's Bedtime Story Time and tonight I will be reading a story called Thumbelina Hope you guys are all cozy and tucked in Once upon a time, there lived a woman who wished very much to have a child, but did not know how to get one. One day, she went to a sorceress and said, I want to have a child. What should I do? The sorceress answered, take this grain of barley. It is not like the barley that farmers grow or the chickens eat. Plant the seed in a pot and wait. The woman did as she was told. And after a short time, a beautiful yellow and red flower grew. What a beautiful flower, she exclaimed and gave it a kiss. At once, the flower opened. And sitting in its center was a tiny girl, no bigger than a thumb. The woman named her... Thumbelina. She placed her in a crib made out of a walnut shell with violent leaves for a mattress and a rose petal for a blanket. One afternoon, a big ugly toad climbed in through the window while Thumbelina was sleeping. Upon seeing how tiny she was, the toad said, this girl will make a perfect ride for my son. Then she picked up the walnut shell with Thumbelina still sleeping inside and hopped to the shore of the river where she lived. Crook, crook, she said, told son when he saw the pretty girl. You will marry her and live happily together, said the old toad. They placed Thumbelina on a water lily in the middle of the river so she could not escape. When Thumbelina awoke and realized she was to be married to a toad, she started crying. The fish who had seen what had happened took pity on Thumbelina. They cut the stem of the leaf on which she rested and the leaf floated down the river carrying her away. A butterfly fluttered near the girl tied it to her leaf using a ribbing from her dress. And that way, she sailed swiftly along. But a passing beetle spotted Thumbelina and fell instantly in love. He snatched her up and carried her high into the tree. There, the other beetles began laughing at her. She has only two legs. She's deformed. She doesn't have antennas. What a skinny creature. Ugh, she's ugly. They found so many faults with her that the beetle let her go. All alone in the big forest, Thumbelina lived by eating nectar from the flower, drinking the morning dew drops, and listening to the beautiful songs of the birds. Summer and fall quickly passed. When winter came, Thumbelina, shaking with cold in her rag dress, went to look for shelter. Crossing a wheat field, she came across the barrel of a field mouse. She asked him for a bite of food. Poor girl, come inside and I'll make something nice and hot for you, said the field mouse. If you help me keep house and tell me stories, you can spend the winter with me. The field mouse had a neighbor who was a mole. He has a big house, nice black fur like velvet, said the field mouse to Thumbelina. If you marry him, you'll always have food in the cupboard. 
When the mole visit and heard Thumbelina sing, he fell in love immediately. But Thumbelina did not like the mole because he could not see the beauty in the flowers and birds that she loved so much. One day, when the mole took Thumbelina walking in a long tunnel he had dug, they came upon a dead swallow. Thumbelina was overcome by sadness at the thought that this was one of the birds she had heard singing so beautifully all summer long. That night, Thumbelina returned to cover the swallow's body with a blanket. But when she laid her head on his breast to say goodbye, she heard his tiny heart beating and realized that the bird was still alive. Thumbelina spent the winter nursing it back to health. When spring arrived, the swallow, feeling much better, told her, Thank you for everything, Thumbelina. Will you come with me to the forest? No, she answered sadly. The field mouse would be upset. But closed up, in the field mouse burrow, Thumbelina yarned for the sun and the flowers. One day, the field mouse told her, at the end of the summer, you shall marry the mole. With the help of four spiders, Thumbelina began preparing her trousers. They spun, knitted, sewed, and embroidered all day long. But all the while, Thumbelina dreaded the dark life she would share with the mole. She longed to see the world outside with its many colors, lights, and sounds. One morning, very close to her wedding day, Thumbelina went outside to say goodbye to the sun. Goodbye, sun. If you see my friend, the swallow, tell him I miss him. Suddenly, she heard, tweet, tweet. It was the swallow singing with joy to see her again. When Thumbelina told the swallow how unhappy she was, the bird invited her to fly far away to the warm countries where he went every winter to escape the cold and snow. This time, she agreed, and together they flew over forests and mountains, sunny meadows and vineyards with sweet grapes until they arrived at a garden of beautiful places. The swallow set Thumbelina down on a big flower where a tiny wedged man, white and transparent, was sitting. He was the king of the flowers. As soon as they saw each other, he and Thumbelina fell in love. The king offered Thumbelina his crown and a pair of beautiful white wings so she could fly like him from flower to flower. He even gave her a new name, Maria, Queen of the Flowers. When the swallow flew back to the country where it gets cold, he told this beautiful story to the man who tells fairy tales, and he in turn told us. The end. Good night, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed the book. Tune in tomorrow for a new episode of AKPA's Bedtime Story Time. Good night. AKPA Bedtime Story Time AKPA Bedtime Story Time